Hello everyone. Y'all ready for crock pot sweet potato casserole? This Thanksgiving, save yourself some room in the oven for your turkey. Make everyone's favorite side dish in the crock pot. Y'all ready? I'm gonna bring you up here and I'm gonna show you what you're gonna need. We're gonna put this one together. You're gonna need three to four pounds of fresh sweet potatoes, brown sugar, cinnamon, vanilla, butter, some water, many marshmallows, and chopped pecans. First thing we're gonna do is start preparing our sweet potatoes. We're gonna start by peeling our sweet potatoes. You're just gonna take a peeler, just peel off that outer layer of skin. You can prepare your sweet potatoes the day before. So you can peel them and cube them and have them ready to go for the next morning. Just place them into a bowl of water and put it in your refrigerator. This is about three to four pounds of potatoes. I've got about six average size. The sweet potatoes are peeled. I've rinsed them off in the sink. What I'm gonna do is cut these into one inch cubes. We wanna keep them all the same size so that they cook evenly. So I'm just gonna cut it in half lengthwise. Sweet potatoes are pretty tough got to cut them very carefully. Just use the knife edge right here as a leverage. There we go. We're going to place these into a large bowl. So once we get the potatoes in, I'm just going to fill it with water to cover the sweet potatoes. We're going to set these off to the side. To make the sweet glaze to coat the sweet potatoes with, in the crock pot we're going to place one and a half cups of brown sugar. To that, we're going to add one stick of melted butter. One teaspoon ground cinnamon. Well, that smells good. It always smells like fall when you open a cinnamon bottle. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're going to stir that all together. should start looking like a paste. All right, we're gonna add two teaspoons of water. Thin that out. Oh yeah, that looks really good. I've drained my sweet potatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and add those to the crock pot. Gonna take a spatula and we're going to mix it all together. Make sure the sweet potatoes are all coated with our brown sugar cinnamon mixture. Before we do some more good stuff to these sweet potatoes, we need to cook these down and get them nice and soft. So we're going to place a lid on. I'm going to cook mine on high for three and a half to four hours or you can cook them on low for about six to eight hours. You wanna make sure that you can pierce a fork through the sweet potato and they're nice and tender. And then we're gonna finish these off because we're looking for some yummy sweet potato casserole. Everyone's favorite at the Thanksgiving table, right? Every so often, make sure you lift the lid and stir up the potatoes. and then place the lid back on. Look 
Okay, our sweet potatoes are fork tender, nice and done. Look at that, yum. What you're gonna do while your crock pot is still on, we're gonna sprinkle five ounces of mini marshmallows, which is generally half a bag, just right across the top. We're gonna sprinkle some chopped pecans across the top, about three or four ounces. We're gonna stir that all together. Doesn't that look good? We wanna melt those marshmallows right in there. We're gonna sprinkle the remaining of the marshmallows across the top. Nice and even. Another two ounces of chopped pecans right across the top. We're going to place the lid back on for 15 minutes. It smells delicious in there. Oh yeah. All right, look at that. All out of your crock pot. Those creamy marshmallows, the crunch from the pecans, and those sweet potatoes. Oh, that glaze that we made. All right. There's my bite. Mm. Nothing like turning fresh sweet potatoes into sweet potato casserole. That's delicious. I hope you give this one a try. Why not? I have other recipes that I've made in the crock pot for Thanksgiving. I will link them down below in the description box if you want to go check those out. And then you can also check out my Thanksgiving playlist, which I'll link down below in the description box also. All right. That's a winner for sure. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Comment down below what your favorite dish is for Thanksgiving. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I'll see y'all on the next episode.